Hello families of RRPC. I hope you are doing well. I am Pastor Kellyanne coming to you with this week's segment of what's happening at RRPC. Well, up first, worship. Worship takes place this Sunday at 9 a.m. and at 11 a.m. The 9 a.m. service is informal and conversational and features our amazing praise band, River Sound. And then we have a more traditional service at 11 o'clock, and this features our wonderful choir. And this week, something special is happening at 11 a.m. The bell ringers are ringing. This is something you do not want to miss. Can't be in service? Not a problem. We go live at 11 a.m. So do consider joining us online. You can find the link to join us on our website at www.rrpcusa.org. As you know, your kiddos are always welcome in worship. In both services, we have special time carved out just for them. This week, during the Time with the Young People segment, we will explore what it means to be a generous people. Following this special time, your kiddos are invited to join our ministry partners or myself for what we call worship enrichment. Worship enrichment takes place during the sermon, and this week we'll be extending our conversation about generosity and engage your kids in a cool science experiment. Following this time, we will return to worship in time for the offering. And as a reminder, your kiddos know this, I've been saying it every week, they are never too young to participate in generosity through the offering at RRPC. And what a great week for them to give a can of food or a dollar bill that they've earned. Now, I don't want you to forget that if you have an infant or a toddler the, our nursery is open and our caregivers are ready to welcome your littles. The nursery is located across the parking lot in the Monroe Wells Education Building on the first floor. The nursery is open from 8.45 a.m. to 12.50 p.m. Miss Sharon and Miss Ann can't wait to see your littles. And finally, Sunday School. Sunday School for our young people ages PK through fifth grade children and youth takes place at 10 a.m. in the Monroe Wells Education Building on the second floor. For the children of the church, pre-K and JK will be greeted by Miss Chris and Miss Lisa this week. K through second grade will be greeted by Miss Carolyn and grades three through five by Miss Marsha and Miss Laura. They are learning about God's big story in Sunday school and they are sure to have a wonderful time. Up next, Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights kicks off with choir, cherub choir and children's choir, which take place at 5.30 p.m. on the second floor in the main building. The Chair of Choir are our youngest of the church, kindergarten and younger, and the Children's Choir, grades one through five. Your kiddos are invited to come out and enjoy this wonderful time of learning music, singing, and fellowship. Followed by choir is supper. Yes, Wednesday night suppers. Join us for yummy food and fellowship as we break bread together in community. Supper takes place at six o'clock and there is always kid-friendly choices. And bonus, want to hang out with other adults for a little bit? Well, guess what? You can because we have a Wednesday night children's program just for your kiddos. Miss Stacy begins this program at 620 in the library. You can pick up your kiddos promptly at 7 p.m. Wednesday nights are a great deal all around. 
do join us. Finally, next Sunday is the Blessing of the Animals Worship Service. This will take place on the lawn here at RRPC at 3 p.m. I've read over this service and the liturgy is beautiful. So if you have a furry friend or friends, or maybe a not so furry friend in a cage, <laughs> please, please bring them to this special event. Now mark your calendars. Next Wednesday, October 12th, during Wednesday night dinner, Dr. Sam Adams will be our guest speaker. Dr. An Dr. Adams will be speaking to us about faithful discourse in the age of polarization, and we will have a Q&A to follow. And coming up real soon on Wednesday, October 26th, is the RRPC Halloween Car Carnival featuring our Trunk or Treat event. Stay tuned for more information about this event. Now, if you want to find out more about RRPC or any of these events, please visit our website at rrpcusa.org. I'm Pastor Kelly Ann, and that's this week's segment of What's Happening at RRPC. Take care. Bye-bye.